Nuglets. Welcome back to another oil and water Nuglet. 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 These are tips, tricks, tastings, and hacks that we have boiled down into bite-sized snacks. Today is a tip. There are a lot of acronyms in cooking. For instance, a capital T or a capital T-B-S-P. Both of those stand for tablespoon because that's not confusing. A lowercase t or a lowercase t-s-p stands for teaspoon. So just the difference between lowercase and uppercase could f you up. I know, I'm sorry. I'm here though today to talk about some of the more humorous kitchen slang that I've come across over the years. These are also measurement references. For instance, a pinch. How much is a pinch? A what? Technically, a pinch is what you can hold. Maybe it's an herb, anything that you can hold between your thumb and your four fingers. So that's a pinch. But hilariously, I actually have three of the tiniest measuring spoons you'll ever see. Dash, pinch, smidgen, smidgen. So a dash is actually, because I've measured it, is actually one eighth of a teaspoon. It's so small. A smidgen, my favorite. I just, it's like a drop. I don't actually think I've ever read a recipe that said just a smidgen, just to like, like, do you want to, do you want me, shall I count the grains of salt and sugar? Cause it will. Other confusing measurements can be a dollop. So a dollop, I've actually read that it's technically one tablespoon. I always think of it as being rather more. Something soft like whipped cream, sour cream, maybe it's custard, something that you're usually putting on top of something else. And dollop would be a nice rounded serving of whatever your particular vessel was. It goes, <coughs> that's a technical term too. Scant. I do come across scant every so often in a recipe, perhaps not so much because it's kind of vague. My understanding of scant when I was growing up cooking next to my mother was, it meant whatever the measurement was, my, my wonky tablespoon that got caught in the disposal, is that it doesn't go all the way to the top. So it's certainly not rounded. It's not even level with the edge. So if we're doing a scant tablespoon of sugar, I would say it's much more than half a tablespoon, even more than three quarters of a tablespoon. It's like that. So there's still space around the edge. Maybe if you're a recipe writer, for those who aren't super comfortable in the kitchen, don't use scant. Another one that you don't see a ton of recipes, but once in a while are parts. Like what? What's a part? Usually they'll specify, let's say it's one to two and they're saying beans to water. So whatever my measurement of beans is, let's say it's one cup, then obviously the two would be two times one, which is two cups of water. So one to two. Blech. And the last one, it's certainly a phrase that I've coined in my own kitchen, and that would be a sploosh. What the f is a sploosh? A sploosh is like this. That's a sploosh. It's a scant quarter cup. Favorites. Thank you so much for joining me here on Oil and Water. You guys are awesome. I love seeing you. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Sploosh.